<clears throat> What's in the box? What's in the box? Welcome back, everyone, to a super exciting episode of What's in the Box here on Chris McEwen's YouTube channel. I'm Bill Bush at DramRangeHeroes.com, at Range Heroes, on all of your preferred social medias. Do me a favor, as always, before we get going here, go down below, hit subscribe, give us a like, just get it out of the way, right up front, helps us, gets these videos in front of more people, and that means we get to do more fun stuff like this. Uh, get notified by hitting that bell next to the subscribe button. All right, let's do that. That way, anytime one of these come up, a that uh, that range life. See, I'm getting them all all mixed up in my head. That range life. A show sometimes about golf that Chris and I do. Um, gear talk, where we talk about all the latest gear and what we think of it and how it goes in our testing, and um, you know some vlogs, matches, what all all that stuff that we like to do on this channel. All right. Had a box come today. It's been sitting in my basement for a couple hours right next to the dehumidifier because uh, we had horrible weather here in the Chicago suburbs today. And uh, the FedEx driver, I saw him walking away from the door right as he put it down and the box was just drenched. And I said, eh, I gotta make a what's in the box video. I don't feel like doing with a super sloppy wet box in the basement in my office. I have to work here every day, all right? So I'm gonna put it down, let it dry out. Here's where we are, all right? So let's open it up, take a look. A lot of tape on this guy. Hopefully I don't kill myself or cut a finger off or something opening it up. I'm using all the precautions, I'm cutting away from myself as usual. Man, they got this thing nice and taped up halfway there. All right, it's open. Again, let me get that off blade close your knife don't hurt yourself all right paper okay there she is there she is a new putter how about that okay ladies and gentlemen wrapped up here in this bag is Man, this thing is secure. Indeed. A new putter for me. Not new to the world. Man, how hard is this to get out? We're almost there. Hitting garbage cans. Did it. We did it. New putter from Argoff. All right, check them out. Let's open it up. It's really in there. Good for them. Okay. The Argoff Arthur 2.0 Blade Putter. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's get into the brand to start here. First and foremost, I've known about Argoff for a little bit. Um, I've, I've, you know, I'm a, I'm a big time golf guy. I pay attention to all the cool happenings in the gear world, but I can't tell you this brand's been on my radar forever. It's only been in the last few years. Uh, while they have a big North American presence in U.S. operations in the in the world of boutique putters, they're actually based out of Brittany, France, I believe, but France, her French company, and um, a lot of the background of the people who founded this company comes from uh, the aeronautical industry. So, a lot of their expertise there and materials and finishing and how to create stuff comes from that aeronautical background. Then you factor in a fine jewelry inspiration. So really being precise and you know thinking, thinking of your finishing as more of an art form and not just a means to an end. That's the inspiration behind their brand. It's a great description of everything they're doing, their background. If you go check them out at argolfusa.com, go to their site, give, a, give their company section a read. It's interesting. Also on my radar because Tour Edge staffer Tim Petrovich plays an Argolf putter and I believe uh, is endorsed by them. And he's a pretty good putter. I think he was number one on Champions Tour maybe last year and putting sometime recently. He's a good putter, loves his Argolf putter. All right, so this guy, the Arthur, oh, nice little touch. The Arthur 2.0. I've been looking for a blade, 
of this shape for a while. I used to really like um, the Scotty Cameron Circa 3, Circa 62, number 3, depending on how you like to say it. Uh, the Scotty Cameron Monterey, blah, 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 right? I like that shape. There's a little, like, flare to the toe. Well, Argoff happens to make a pretty nice one, too, all right? So that caught my eye. Now, it has a flow neck, all right? And it's a, it's an interesting flow neck. I forgot I forgot what I read about, so like a spiral or something, but it's a really nice finish. It goes into the head real nicely, so that's a nice touch. But um, it's interesting. It's it's very it's it's very mechanical, but at the same time, very elegant. Dare I say, pretty. But this thing looks pretty mean. I like it. Um, little touch I wasn't expecting. Engraved on the uh, the heel of the face, Bill. That's my name. All right. But um, yeah, so I'm I'm a bit, I'm really excited to try this out. These guys are pretty premium. They offer armlock versions. They have some really unique mallets that I'm intrigued by. I'll have to check those out at some point. I'll take this bubble wrap off before it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just test it like that. It does feel kind of nice, and I do tend to play a oversized putter grip usually. But um, yeah, they have a lot of different blade models. They they are a little more modern looking. And uh, I appreciate that. I think every putter company should have their own style, not just copy what everybody else is doing and more of the same. So the more originality, the better. Very nice stuff. I'm intrigued. All right. Stay tuned. We'll make a gear talk video. I promise you. And then you can read a review eventually at DriveRangeHeroes.com. And, uh, you know, maybe you've had an experience with this. Give it a shot. Oh, also these guys, Argoff makes irons all sorts of uh cavity back muscle backs very intrigued good looking stuff i'd like to try those at some point as well as um wedges all right check them out very intrigued by this brand very interested to see how this goes i'm bill bush drive rangeheroes.com at range heroes don't forget to go down below hit subscribe hit the bell do all those things thanks for watching we'll see you next time